on our way right now to um, get our car seat properly installed by the highway patrol. We made an appointment, Erica made an appointment last week or this week. I'm sure we could have done it ourselves or asked another parent to help us do it, but we just feel the safest way to do it is just go to the CHP. So. Actually, I put it on Facebook. I put it on Facebook like a couple of weeks ago that I guess it was time to um, learn how to put Santana's car seat in the car. And then a bunch of people, a bunch of moms, um, recommended that I contact CHP and that they would do it for free to make sure that it's properly installed. I guess a lot of times you think you properly install it, but it's not. So um, they recommended it, and I figured if moms are telling me to do it, then it's probably a good idea that we do it. So yeah. I'm doing it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so we have it. So it's at one, yeah. This yeah. looks like a good um, angle. So then what you would do is, let's go ex extending it and pressing this. Okay, so let's press, I think it's, it's, it's at its farthest point anyway. So I'm gonna, so what you do is when you hook these in, mm -hmm. you hook it in up like this. Yeah. Uh, um, okay. Like a, a mini stapler, sure. not upside down. And then to release it, you press this button here. See what, see what that does? Okay. So we go. Oh, give it some room, and it's right there. So you just stick it in. Hear that? Yeah. And so now it's hooked in. And then I do the same on the other side. Okay. Is that long enough, or you mean release some of it? I think we need to release some. Oh, lift, lift the um, handle, babe. There you go. I mean, it's. Uh, it won't. Is there reach. enough? You have enough? Not yet. Not really. Right? No. Okay. Hold on. Okay, now, now pull it, pull, pull it, okay. Is got it, it. Enough now? Yeah, I got it now. More? No, nope, I got it. I heard it okay. Got it? Yep. I would kind of like push down on here and pull it across. Actually, you could probably go like this. See, if you don't want to get inside, you can go like this. And then uh, hold on to this and just pull it across. And then, then hold on to it so that way it doesn't loosen. See, here the click, it just yeah. tightened on its own. Sure. Let me do it. Because it tightened on its own. Does it have one on that side too? No, it's only on one side. Only on that side. So sometimes to, because what you want to do is get this down as much as possible. Yeah. If you you can push it down the middle, but 
if uh, another uh, easy thing to do is you can like rock it side to side but don't rock it too much on one side otherwise it won't be level yeah oh this is tight let me see yeah see that so yeah. feel it go like this it doesn't move an inch yeah it's really tight yeah so that's a proper install I'm just trying to like making sure it's uh, mm -hmm. level because I'm looking at the stitching right here. And oh, sure got it. Level. So, you know, okay. Let me see. Yeah, so it's fine. Cool. Cool. Um, so, not, so once you get it loose like that, mm -hmm. then um, what you want to want to do too is like move these uh, buckle tongues aside because you're gonna be looking for that. To, uh, mm -hmm. put your baby in and then what you do is you put your baby in make sure the back is up against the back here and, and her butt is always at the bottom like so and we have it such that okay this should be at shoulder below so it, uh, I think it's already at the lowest position anyway because yeah. this this is a little bit too small so what you do is you go like that you want this to be up at the neck area because the edges of the harness is kind of uh, rough and you yeah. know, it's going to slide across her neck and you don't want to burn her neck. So you go like that. Like that. Then you you want to get rid of the slack from the bottom by pulling on this like that. Or basically get rid of the slack from her hip area. Okay then what I usually like to do so that way it doesn't lose is tightness from the bottom as I move this all the way down okay. okay the other reason too is that if I don't move it all the way down because if it was up here which a lot of parents will make a mistake by leaving this up here mm -hmm. then when you start pulling on this see this gets in the way now oh, yeah. because it no, this doesn't allow it to go anymore so to prevent to, to allow it to move better what you can do is you know, press it down like, where is it it's on the Loosen it again. Yeah. So I'm gonna move this all the way down. Yep. Like that. Okay. Then now you, it also kind of like gives you a visual aid to see when you're supposed to, how tight you want it to be. So you now you start pulling on this. See, so so once it starts to lie flat naturally like that yeah. and you can pinch it at the shoulder area see like uh, you go over here yeah. and if you if you try to pinch it and your fingers slide across it like that that means it's tight enough okay. all right so so you want to move this up to the um, uh, armpit level okay so you go up like that and then you can clip this it's easier to move these uh, separately because mm -hmm. if you have it clipped together then sometimes it's hard to move out this one seems to be fairly easy but if you find it hard to move up and down mm -hmm. then have it loose first okay. and then move it up to the armpit level and then tighten it like that okay. Okay. Wow. Perfect. all right that was amazing he was so cute the old man he yeah, takes his job very nice. serious so it's really nice he and he said that we were his second um two mom couple to come in one day yeah in one day so that's really cool he was My so sweet earlier was two moms that's great <laughs> yeah um i guess today is the women's march so he was like that's so cool so yay anyway um so now we're on our way to our maternity shoot um and that's gonna be done by my really good friend misty who is a photographer. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Just in time for the photo, she's a fucking mountain. Oh my god. That always happens. I was supposed to get my belly waxed. <laughs> did not get that my belly waxed, but I shaved that stuff. No, you did I did, I shaved it. Oh, it's gonna grow back. At <laughs> you fuck now, girl. Well, I you have to shave your belly. I know, I but I really wanted to get it waxed, and it just never happened. <laughs> So I shaved my belly hairs because that was hella ugly. Good thing there's Photoshop where you just take that fucking mountain out. You could have just take Photoshopped your hair out. You don't have to shave it. <laughs> oh well. Alright, here we go. On our way to Airfield.
You fit? Barely. I missed the sponge. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to see you. <laughs> Ew, you're gonna smell you're gonna smell like spoiled milk. You think so? I'm in the shower. Honey on it. Although people take uh that milk 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 bath. Really? 